Okay, guys. Well, here we are. We're back at the uh, fuel tank project, the overhead fuel storage. So what are we doing? Well, for about a week now, we've had uh, vinegar sitting on the inside. I've got these rails. We keep rotating the tank so the vinegar moves to different spots. But today we are back and we are hitting it with a uh, sanding it, just getting some of the surface rust off. We're knocking this down. We're using 80 grit sandpaper and a DeWalt palm sander and uh, definitely wearing a mask because man, this is putting out an orange dust. I'm covered in it. But uh, anyway, I think this is gonna pay big dividends. Once we get this done, uh, we'll come back and hit it with OSPO rust inhibitor. So uh, we're gonna just keep chiseling away at this and hopefully we'll get the rust uh, contained. We'll put a good Sherwin-Williams primer on it and then a uh, good Sherwin-Williams paint. But uh, the super clean degreaser uh, that we did last week really did a good job of knocking off all of the, uh, the grease that was on here, our spilt diesel over the years. And uh, now we're just back in the process of building it back up. So uh, we'll see. We did bell hay this week, which was good. And uh, progress. So we'll see where we're at. The other good thing going on today is I've got my son-in-law, Chris, here. Uh, he is helping stack hay, which is allowing me the time and luxury to work on this tank. So that is pretty cool. You see, we got him going along. He is moving hay with the New Holland 5060 and uh, stacking it over there. Pretty happy with the cutting. It looks like we got about 70 bales off that, uh, that cut, so I'm pretty happy. Okay guys, well, I got the A-team. I got Mrs. H and my youngest daughter, Bailey, and they are applying the OSFO. And for those who don't know what OSFO is, this is OSFO. It is a uh, rust inhibitor, prepares rusted surfaces for painting. And you can see it's almost like a water consistency. So it's real easy to apply. Just put it on. And actually, as it dries, the metal will almost turn black. And uh, that's when you know it's working. So we'll probably apply two coats to this and uh, that should seal it. And then in essence, it also kind of like etches the metal and prepares the surface for the uh, primer. So that's what we're working on. Okay, well, we just put our second coat of OSFO on the tank. And, uh, you know, basically it just, uh, it's a rust inhibitor is all that it is. Uh, boy, I don't know what this old sticker was, but man, you can't get that off with a grinder, sander, or anything. So the good news is I'm gonna put a new sticker over the end of it, uh, one that says farm diesel. But uh, the tank really looks a lot different than it did before. You know, doesn't have to be perfect. It's just a diesel fuel tank, but we're gonna get a good uh, paint job on it, primed and uh, ready to go. So this is a long-term project, man. By the time you uh, go through two rounds of uh, vinegar and, uh, you know, cleaning out the inside, flushing that out. Not to mention, we haven't even started on the uh, stand, which is over there. Long-term project, man. It's gonna take, I don't know, a month and a half, two months, just working on the weekends, a couple hours each weekend to get this thing knocked out. But hey, they finished bailing. We got all of the uh, bales out of the pecan, thanks to my son-in-law, Chris. And uh, off of the hay meadow, sure would be nice to get a rain because if we don't, it's just going to burn up. 
But uh, we ended up getting 72 bales, which is uh, really good. It's almost twice what we got off the first cutting. And uh, so I'm happy with that part of it. So, uh, and who knows if we could get a few rains, here it is, uh, July, the end of July, we might be able to get another cutting at the end of September going into October. If uh, we could just get some cooler weather and some rain, fingers crossed, man, that would be a uh, blessing, blessing if I could get another 30 or 40 bells off this uh, place. So anyway, that's a wrap for this weekend. I'm traveling like crazy on work. We did use the, uh, the Bush Hog 3008 model uh, shredder to clean up a little bit around the uh, barn and uh, the front section of the orchard. And uh, that's a wrap. Okay, so here we are, Friday afternoon. It's after work, it's about six o'clock. And let me tell you what, it is just absolutely brutal here in Texas. I think we're going on like 14 days where it's been above 100 degrees. Today, the truck was showing 106 of the actual temperature, which feels like about 112. And uh, man, it's just, it's miserable. It's just so hot. I mean, literally you can stand here in the shade and you start sweating. And if you exert yourself at all, you break out in a full blown sweat. So what's on deck this weekend? Well. Here is the uh, gas tank project. And if you remember last weekend, we sanded the gas tank and we also covered it with two coats of Osfo. And you know what? I'm actually pretty impressed with the way it looks. It's really cleaning up pretty nice. Looks a lot different. It's got a little white oxidation to it, which that's part of the process as it neutralizes the, uh, the oil. Apologize for the bright light. Probably not a great photo, but uh, you know, the tank's cleaning up. It's uh, it's looking pretty decent. So I think what we're gonna be able to do now is we'll be able to come in here and uh, hopefully, uh, I think I'll probably, I don't know, I'll hit it with the power washer, maybe see if we can knock off that white oxidation that's on there. And uh, from there, I think uh, undecided whether or not I'm gonna hit it with another coat of uh, Osfo. I think I'm gonna stop. We're probably gonna move on to an industrial grade primer, something like Sherwin-Williams brand. And uh, we're gonna turn our attention to the uh, actual stand. Uh, I've got a couple of bent pieces on that, so I'm hoping I can get that inside the barn so that tomorrow morning the shade is out, we can work on that. But it's so hot right now, there's really nothing to do. I think I'm gonna get in the New Holland and drive up to the community center, which is our small five acre piece of property. And I think we're gonna try to bring back uh, the bells of hay that were up there. I think they're somewhere in the neighborhood of seven or eight bells up there. That's about all you can do. I mean, it's just, it's miserable, man. Just pray for us guys down here dealing with this heat wave. I know it's through a large portion of the US. Uh, things are still remarkably green, all things considered. This time last year, we were in full blown drought, but the temperatures weren't this hot. So this year we had rain all the way through basically the middle of July, but now the temperatures hit and the rain has stopped. So it's just a matter of time before this turns brown. So uh, keep us in your thoughts and prayers. We could really use a little break in this heat wave and we could also use uh, some cooler temps and a little bit of rain. So fingers crossed, maybe that'll happen. All right, more to follow. Okay, so here we are, Saturday morning. Well, we're racing uh, daylight. I don't know, it's probably eight o'clock or so, but we're back on the uh, overhead diesel fuel tank storage. And what are we doing? Well. We put a couple of new braces on here. Yeah, I had this metal left over. It's actually a rolling gate track, but man, it's heavy duty stuff. It was 10 foot length and uh, didn't have a use for it. So this was the perfect use. Cut it in half, drilled some holes, bolted it on there. And you can see the old one, both sides look like that. They were bent. Somebody had been lifting this thing and moving it with a tractor and had bent those uh, supports. So, we put new ones on. I'm taking the old ones off. We're gonna get this thing off, get it inside the barn, and uh, eventually we'll start sanding on it, hit it with some Osfo, and uh, get it ready to paint. This is the perfect time just to sure it up, make sure everything's nice and tight, and uh, ready to go. Okay, so this is a wrap on the weekend, and uh, we just got a coat of uh, primer on here, 
So, you know, yesterday we actually put the uh, braces on. We put the new side braces at the bottom. We put the new horizontal cross braces on the X. We got this thing pretty solid now, tightened all of the old bolts up that were on there. We put a couple of coats of Osfo yesterday, and then we came back today and we hit it with a primer. And we used a Rust-Oleum primer, oil-based primer. And uh, basically, show you what this thing looks like. It's good stuff. So we used a rusty metal primer and it's called Rusty Metal Primer. Use on heavily rusted metal. So I'll tell you what, between the Osfo and then um, the Rust-Oleum Primer, I feel pretty good that we got a good scald on it. Next weekend, we'll come back. We're gonna drain the uh, white vinegar out of the tank that's been cleaning. And um, then we'll put some primer on the uh, tank. And then uh, we'll paint the, uh, hopefully next weekend, we can get a coat of paint or two on the uh, stand. We're painting it a bright silver, and then the tank itself is gonna be like fire engine red. So you'll have a silver stand and a red tank, and then we'll put a, an HF logo in white on the tank, and it should have a nice overall appearance. So that's the plan. All right, guys, hope everyone has a great week. As always, glory be to God. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It helps us out, costs you absolutely nothing. Leave us a comment, love to hear from you.